A bacterial culture initially contains 100 cells and grows at a rate proportional to its size. After an hour, the population has increased to 420. So we need a little bit of information here. First, we need to figure out a formula. Well, we're looking at a population growth, so we can use our P of T is equaling CE to the KT. But notice everything is based in an hour, hour, hour. So everything's based in an hour, which means that our T this time is going to be T hours. As long as you say what the time increment's going to be, it's okay to be different time increments, but you have to make sure that you're basing it everything the same. So after an hour, bacteria, an hour, hour, hour. So our units are all the same, so we're okay. So part A, find an expression for the number of bacteria after T hours. So we're writing that formula that we were looking at before. So here we go. Let's see what we can figure out. A bacterial culture initially contains 100 cells. That's our C value. That's our initial. And grows at a rate proportional to its size. That tells us it's exponential. After an hour, so after an hour means T equals 1. The population has increased to 420. That's our P of 1. So let's put all this together. So our P of 1 is going to be 420. Our C is 100. We have E. We don't know anything about K. We have to solve for K, but we know our time is one hour. And so let's do some division. Divide both sides by the 100. And that's going to leave us with 4.2 equals e to the k. Now, it's just 1 here. So k times 1 is just k. So 4.2 e to the k. In order to get the k, which is our variable, because we already saw for the t, we're trying to figure out k. Out of the exponent, we need to use our natural log. So this is going to look like, well, e and the natural log cancel each other. So our natural log of 4.2 is equal to t. And when we solve that down, put it in, oh, excuse me, is equal to k. Wrong variable, sorry about that, is equal to k. When we solve it down, we need to be able to type it in. So ln 4.2 should give you 1.435. Now we can write our equation. So we know our p of t. We know our 100 from our initial. We have our E. Now we have a K, 1.435, and it will be our T for our time. This is what we're looking at for our equation as we're going through. Now we can simplify this a little bit. Remember that 1.435, that was our natural log of 4.2. So we can simplify this. We could say that P of T is equal to 100 E to the LN 4.2 T. Well, if we can do that, then our E and our LN can cancel. And if our E and our LN cancel, then that means that we are looking at P of T equaling 100 times 4.2 raised to the t. And that means we have a little bit more simplified expression that we could consider. So let's look at part b. Part b, find the number of bacteria after three hours. All right, let's see if we can find our number of bacteria after three hours. So we'll start with our p of three. And that is going to equal. So we need to see what our P of three is going to equal. So that means we go back to our original equation. We have two options that we could do here. We could go back to our original equation here in pink, which would look like our 100 E to the 1.435 T is now three. And we could solve this down. We could type it all in, we could solve it down, and when you solve it down, you get 
7,406.92, which we can say is approximately 7,407. We can't really have 0 0.92 of a bacteria, so we can round it up. Or you could use the formula that we have over here. So P of T equals 100 times 4.2 to the third. And if you type this one all in, you will get 7,408. So the difference here, 0.8, let me put that on. So 7,409. The difference here is two bacteria. But the question is slightly different in the answer because the one that we have here in green is more exact. Here, we rounded this decimal. We had 1.435, and that wasn't the full decimal that was rounded. When we typed in the natural log of 4.2, it gives a big, long decimal. The natural log of 4.2 is more exact. So using this 4.2 here is more exact. But this is OK as an approximation. Either of these would be just fine. If you want to put it straight into the original formula, the one we have here in blue is just fine. If you want to modify the one we have here in green, it's just fine. Either way, it will work. So find the rate of growth after three hours. Well, the rate of growth after three hours, that means that we're going to need the derivative. Because the derivative is a rate, and we're looking for the rate of growth. So p prime of t is what we're looking for. So we need to take our derivative. Well, in order to take the derivative, let's just use this one that's right here. In order to take the derivative, that means that we have to consider our a to the x equals a to the x ln a derivative rule. So when we do that, that's going to look like 100 e to the 1.435 t times 1.435. And then if we are trying to simplify it down from here, we can put in our three. And it becomes a lot to type in, so be careful. And when we solve it down, we are approximately equal to 10,629. So make sure you're typing it in okay. And this would be bacteria per hour. All right, there we go. Because we had the E right here, we're going to use this rule down, this one. Because we have the E right here, remember the derivative of E to the X is e to the x, and then you take the derivative of x for your chain rule. And that's what we had here, e to the x, and then we did our chain rule. So let's use part d. When will the population reach 10,000? Well, the population reach 10,000. That means that we need p of t to equal 10,000. Well, if we need p of t to equal 10,000, then that means 10,000 is equal to 100. I want to show you that either formula will work. So for this one, I'm going to use the second formula that we had, which was p of t equals 100 times 4.2 raised to the t. Same thing, you could have used this one, same formula, either one will work. I want to show you both of them, so we're going to use that one for this one. And so we have 10,000 equals 100 times 4.2 raised to the t. Do your division. Do your division. So if you have 10,000 divided by 100, you're going to get 100, and that'll give us 4.2 raised to the t. We need to get the t out of the exponent, so that means that we need to use the natural log. All right, let's see if we can figure this down. 
So now we're going to be left with the natural log of 100. We need to divide both sides by the natural log of 4.2, and that will give us t. So dividing through, we should get about 3.2 hours. There we go. We're not doing a rate of change for this one, so it looks like we didn't need it after all. We had our formula already, and it turns out we didn't need it. When will the population? The population is our P of T. There's no change for this population here. So the population after about 3.2 hours will be at 10,000.